Destination Mark. Hey guys, how's it going? Marcelo here, and we've got some crazy stuff that was shown off for Crash Team Racing and Nitro Field in this new trailer that was shown off in PlayStation's first ever State of Play broadcast. There is a lot to go over, so in this super analysis, let's try and see what we can pick out, what's new, what's added, what's changed, and let's just dive right in. So first off, we see everyone in Coco Park, nothing huge here. But off the bat, immediately we see that retro skins are in fact going to be a thing, and not just with Crash, with Coco and with Cortex as well. And this skin changes not only the characters, but also their carts, which is a really nice touch, I like that. Race like it's 1999 indeed. When we see Coco with her retro skin, we get to see more of Papu's Pyramid, which doesn't look too changed from the initial uh, announcement trailer from the Game Awards. Maybe a bit brighter, the lighting and shading have been tweaked to look much more improved. So that's really the only ginger I could find here. Next we get to see Cortex and Hot Air Skyway and oh my god, Hot Air Skyway looks really good. There is a lot more detail here. In the background we get to see not only Pinstripe's classic dirigibles, but a bunch of towers, spires, and I think other blimps too in the background as well. Like what is this green thing, this like ship looking thing? I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's oxide related or not, but it looks really cool. And I like how the railings are modeled after playing card shapes. Further conveying that this is Pinstripe stage and he's a mobster, uh, casinos and all that, I, I don't know. But it's a really nice touch. But the biggest drop of all, we've got tracks from Crash Nitro Car up in here. And they look really cool. First up we get to see Electron Avenue, as evidenced by that big long drop at the very beginning of the track. Its feel with the colors and the palette has been massively changed, boasting a lot more purples and blues this time around. Next we get Deep Sea Driving, and at first I couldn't even pin down what stage this was. I know you can see aquatic stuff in the background, but that tentacle monster octopus thing was not there in the original. So for a while that threw me off, I was trying to find out where this was from, but I think it's Deep Sea Driving. Next we get a good look at that awesome huge gargoyle statue from Clockwork Wumpa, and that's super rad. Some more Electron Avenue, we get to see some neon, like... Uh, holographic trees, that's pretty dope. And if tracks like Electron Avenue are going to be in this, that begs a pretty important question. Or rather, a speculative question for me personally. Mario Kart 8 also had an anti-gravity mechanic, and in some of the tracks they lifted from other Mario Kart games, they were re-envisioned with the anti-gravity mechanic in mind. Seeing as Crash Nitro Kart had anti-gravity, I'm wondering if they'll apply this same logic to other Crash Team Racing tracks. Maybe not, they don't have to, they probably won't, but that'd be kind of cool. Anyway, we get a good look at Komodo Joe in Deep Sea Driving, and he looks pretty cool. And that begs the question if Komodo Mo's gonna make an appearance, as he was supposed to in the original CTR. We also get one brief shot of Papu Papu in Electron Avenue, and that's super cool too. And in these shots in Clockwork Wumpa, I really like, again, the attention to detail in the background. Around this turn, which is kind of near the beginning of the track, we can see baskets full of Wumpa fruit. Pretty neat. Next up is Battle Mode. We get to see this in action for the first time ever, and it looks really, really cool. First up, we get to see Skull Rock, and all four characters are participating in a free-for-all battle. Pretty standard to Crash Team Racing, but the immediate next shot shows us in a completely different arena. I'm not sure if this was lifted from either games, but it looks really cool with the stadium setup and everything. And this time, they're playing Crystal Grab, which is straight from Crash Nitro Kart. This one right here looks like Magnetic Mayhem. I could be wrong, but the colors and overall setting very much gives off that vibe. And this one can either be Desert Storm from Nitro Kart, or Rocky Road from Crash Team Racing, I'm not really sure. The warm tones of the environment make it look like Rocky Road, but that purple sky is very, very Desert Storm-esque. And to book in the trailer, we've got a shot of Cortex, Coco, and Crash back in Coco Park, all in their retro skins. This trailer is nuts. That's everything I could see and pick apart from this trailer, but what do you guys think? What have you guys seen? What have you noticed? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you hyped for all this content? It looks really freaking cool. And we're gonna get a lot more at PAX East, which is happening really, really soon. So I'll be covering a lot of stuff from there as well. This is it guys. We're nearly two months away from Nitro Field's release and I cannot wait. Tell me what you think of all of this in the comments down below. I'm Marcelo, I will see you guys later and take care.